Welcome to Warrior Work. In this segment of Integrative Arts Basics, we're going to teach you the unbendable arm. I'll put a technique shared in Aikido, and I learned it from an Aikido master years ago. Interestingly, when it's taught, it's oftentimes taught as a very mystical chi experience, but when we break it down, it applies the same principles as you learned last week in the Circle of Steel. I'm going to bring Coach John in, and we're going to demonstrate how it actually works. He's going to put his right arm on my shoulder, palm up. And you can see from here, this angle, okay, this forearm's actually on the shoulder. Okay. And what I do is I take my right fist and I put it in the bend of his arm, my left hand on top. Now he resists me and tries to keep me from pushing his arm down. And in this case, he uses his muscular strength, again, to prevent me from doing that. And you're going to see very easily again, the arm bends or his whole body. You'll see people when they do this, their body will collapse this way. Again, the structure collapses nice and easily. So the goal of the technique is that when I do this, when I put the arm on his shoulder, I want to relax the muscles and I engage my tendon and ligaments. So again, just like we talked about last week, I take a deep breath and I breathe out and then visualize the breath going out beyond the fingers. But as he puts his right fist in my arm, he puts the left hand on top and as he Put that left hand right up on there, nice and strong. As he pushes down, what happens, keep pushing, push, put all that weight, put all that weight in there, put all that weight in there, you'll see his body struggling and his structure actually collapsing. And again, it's my tendon and ligaments that are doing that effect of that impact. That also applies in techniques like where we use the half lock. The half lock, very simple technique for those of you who've done different locks and controls and the whole body Collapse. You see that double tap on the leg, that means it hurts and it stops. You know, the center lock, same thing, body collapses. But if we get him to relax his body, take a deep breath and relax, relax those muscles, let that force go down into the ground, then he can support that a lot longer. I can actually break his structure by pushing in on him to break the structure, okay? So when he's putting that half lock on, let me go put the half lock on. There, there we go. And he tenses that up nice and tight and he puts it in, he torques it in toward my body, okay? As he's pushing in, again, I'm relaxing. He might as well be pushing the entire ground. We're going to turn the hands a little like that. There you go, that angle properly. And as he pushes in, again, he might as well be pushing the ground. If he pushes me forward with his entire body weight, I just pull him. Again, a very common principle we use in the martial arts. If they push, you pull. If they pull, you push. Most martial artists are familiar with that phrase and they've heard it. But again, this is a very great example of testing that principle and applying it in a controlled environment. Again, that applies to any lock, whether it be the wrist throw, the half lock, the center lock. A lot of the structural integrity you do from standing postures in Tai Chi, very important in relaxing the muscles, building your tendon ligament strength so that it becomes a natural part of your day. When your emotions, when you get excited mentally, then your muscles naturally create tension into them which is why Tai Chi is a moving meditation and you're working on breathing and relaxing and not, not letting people get their claws inside of you with their words only. So thank you for joining us today, Integrative Arts Basics. Again, practice this unbending arm with your students, with your friends, with your family. Teach it, test it, try it. Feel free to email me, ask me any questions. Make it a great day and I'll see you next time.